What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters bringing you another vintage unboxing. This is from the World Wake set. This is an intro pack, Fangs of Blood Chief. So let's see what the back says. Other than ruling the multiverse. Fangs of, Blood Chief, of the Blood Chief. Unleash a torrent of vampires. Use your destructive spells to clear a path for your most powerful vampires, the Blood Chiefs. Once Butcher of Malakur enters the battlefield, the opposition will be bled dry. So as always, you get a 41 card deck and a booster pack. Let's get it cracking. These are still pretty readily available on Craft Bay if you choose to purchase from there. All right, let's get our pointy object. All right, as usual, we'll go through the uh, Rares and uncommons. I've added the uncommons late, lately. It adds a little bit length to the video, but whatever. We've got Butcher of Malakir. This is uh, the aforementioned. Seven drop for a 5-4 flyer. Whenever Butcher or another creature you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. So, you know, not too bad. Consume Spirit. Love this card. Two drop plus X. Spend only black mana on X. Consume Spirit deals X damage. You gain X life. Pretty simple. Rise from the grave. Put target creature card in a graveyard onto the battlefield. This is a great, like I play this in the, a lot in the zombie deck. Diabolic Tutor. This is an old school card with new art. Search your library for a card, then put that card in your head, and then shuffle your library. You know. game You can win your game on that, that's for sure. Urge to feed. Uh, target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. You may tap any number of untapped vampire creatures you control. If you do so, put a one-one counter on each of those vampires. Sick. Feast of Blood. Uh, Anawan, the Ruin Sage. Five drop for four, three at the beginning of your upkeep. Each player sacrifices a non-vampire creature. So if you're running vampires only, that can be sweet. Vampire Nighthawk. Blood Husk Ritualist. Got our, what do we have here? Just Piranha Marsh, two of those, and I think just Swamps. Yep, all right. On to the Jace Lottery ticket. I say that jokingly, but also sort of truthfully. It's fun for me to go through these uh, vintage, because I get an idea of like how cards developed and how cards changed and what abilities. You know, Kicker, that's, Totally new for me. Uh, never even played with it. So we've got Kite Sail. Okay, Uncommons. Blood Husk Ritualist. We've already seen one of those. This one's a multi kicker. Basically, for every black mana you put in, um, when Blood Husk Ritualist enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card for each time it was kicked. So if you pay the two plus one, you have two others, they discard two cards. Not too bad. Scrib Nibblers. Spell Contortion. It's blue. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Oh, man. I was excited. Selective memory. Search your library for any number of non-land cards in exile. Then shuffle your library. Nice full art mountain. Wouldn't it be cool, guys, if I pulled one on camera from one of these intro packs? Because you, you're never going to end up ahead buying a booster box of World Wake. Because they charge you. I mean, you pay. The, that's why I call it crap bay. I mean, it is what it is, but you have to pay basically the same price you would as if it contained a foil jace. It's a joke. The market's so messed up. But here I am opening them anyway because I don't care. All right, well, that is the uh, Fangs of the Blood Chief, World Wake. Uh, for this and more vintage and current unboxings from Magic the Gang Gathering, make sure you subscribe up above. And if you like this video, help me out by crushing that like button down below. And uh, if you want to chat with me, I love talking to you guys, so post your comments on down below and join the conversation. Thanks, and we'll talk to you real soon.